Hello everyone, this is Linda with Scrap Chica Studios, uh, bringing you guys another mini that I've completed. Um, this is a, a mini that I um, had an order on, and this is a shape mini that I have picked up at Michael's. Um, it's like birthday uh, kind of theme to it, and I'm going to go through this real quick. Um, this is the front page, and I also used the um, Create a Critter um, cartridge on here from Cricut, and I know it's been a big thing with everyone on YouTube, so I had it and um, thought that I would, you know, incorporate it into this mini. So here's the front page, and everything has been glittered, um, diamond dusted. It has, she's carrying a little balloon that says happy, and then I have uh, B-Day, birthday. Um, I've used stickles on here, the pen stitching, inking. Um, here's the first page, and I've made it kind of simple because of the, the page. The pages are very, um, very small. So if you can see this, this is um, the first page. And... Here's the second page. This is a balloon page. I really like this. Um, I made it into a pocket and it has two tags in there. And the tags are, are kept, kept simple because um, I did a lot of the, um, the, the chipboard piece itself. So I, I kept the tags the same um, and, and simple. So there are the tags. And I put some bling down here. And like I said, it's a pocket. Um, the paper design is by Heidi Grace Design. Um, I have a lot of pattern paper, and I'm finally starting to use it all. <laughs> so here's the balloon, and it's just a little um, square, like, uh, top note shape um, that I used off my slice. All the flowers are Prima flowers that are... Um, that I've had forever that I've gotten at a convention years ago. So I've had, you know, I'm getting to use my stash a lot more now. Um, these are the Prima leaves. Here is the cupcake page. I absolutely love the cupcake page. Um, there are the tags. And again, just very simple. Kept the tag simple and put more of the, you know, embellishments on the, the chipboard. So there's a cherry. You can see the little swirls. They are um, crystal uh, crystal accents or glossy accents um, that I use. It's a pocket like um, you've seen the tags come out of. And I picked these little butterflies up at the convention a, a week ago and incorporated them in here. There's some more of the silk flowers and little sticker. It says best wishes. This one, um, here's another one of the little critters from the Create a Critter, and it's just a little mouse peeking out of the window, and I used that off my slice um, as the frame, and it has another little silk flower and the Prima leaves. This one, um, I just did some little balloons off the Create a Critter. There's one of the critters holding a balloon. And did this and used um, what do you call um, embroidery thread um, for the strings there on the balloon, and I just used some pop dots and popped those off the page. Here's this one. This page is cute. Um, it's just a little frog um, on on a lily pad, and I put a little prima flower with a little um, sparkly brad in. You can just put a picture right underneath a frog. Aren't these... I know why everyone is gaga over them. They are just a, too adorably cute. So there's the frog page. Here's another balloon. And it has a little bird up there. I didn't know there was a bird on the creator critter until I was almost done with the book. <laughs> and I handmade this little bird. Um, that you see right here, and I kind of got it off the design from the paper. Um, so there's that. It has one of the stamping up um, 
little punches there and I just put some um, brads in there prima flowers and those are punched out leaves and this just flips open and room for pictures the third page um, because of the mini and the shape of it I just made a little cake and I hand cut the cake and the everything so it's like paper piecing and I love incorporating um, hand, hand, handmade pieces um, it gives just more a, a little more touch of you know personalization uh, personalization to the book so um, I did the little drips and diamond dusted them I uh, used stickles for the little dots that you see on the cake and the little plate I just cut an oval out of you know gray cardstock and cut the balloons out in the little flames and this is more for a crop picture um, up here in the room just to, to have a small picture up here here's another cupcake page and this one was a fun cupcake page I love this one um, for the tags again just the simple tags and the colors um, that I used in the book these um, I use um, Bow Bunny um, sugar coating on here the little um, cherry on top I use little red glass beads that I've had in my stash forever so um, I mean so long that it had been there I had to fight to get the cap off <laughs> that's it and they're just a little um, red glass beads and then um, for like the frosting I used um, the little diamond dust again with uh, glossy accents oh well, there's that here's um, the other one and it has a cherry that I just used um, uh, stickles on the fruit punch stickles and again it has two um, just scallop tags simple tags and then I had the little ribbon here um, with the polka dot to put around the cupcake and the last page is uh, the cake and I used the little clip that you see there I think those are by making memories there's another one of the butterflies some prima leaves here I used uh, Fisker's um, edge punch for a little scallop here and I put the butterfly in the middle of the flower and then you take off the clip um, and just used just real simple kept it um, really simple and each one of the um, little cards in here they have just a coordinating um, pen stitching of the colors that I've used and there's that and this is the back and again just simply a little simple back um, little flower little bling uh, piece there and handmade by Scratchica 2010 and there's this little book I use some of the um, ribbon here um, from Michael's Michael is carrying this new like sheer like striped ribbon I think it's really pretty and I use that for um, just the embellishments up on the ring and the binding ring and here it is again oops sorry guys fumbling around here and this is what it looks like um, Thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment and you guys have a good week. Adios.